just a little guy, but man, can he fight the number one ranked flyweight contender. This division has really appealed to the fans over the last several years, and this man has made himself undeniable, gets his first title shot in the UFC tonight. You know, John, these guys are small, but I believe that is one of the most skilled divisions in the entire UFC, and this gentleman has really separated himself from the pack. He has done everything necessary to put himself right on the verge of doing something special. He believes that he's going to get it done tonight. Every part of him believes that he's the best. Now he has to go out and show it. No man should weigh 125 pounds. I mean, let's be honest, but that is a package of skill and will and grit that looks a whole lot like a future champion. to the road to UFC gold and glory at 125 pounds goes through this man and you gotta be on in every facet of the game if you're gonna dethrone the champion. Or even give him a, ch a challenge. I mean, we have seen him time and time again take fighters who look so good against everyone else and make them look very average. He is just a tremendous athlete. He's a great champion and he's a guy that with the confidence of that belt feels like he will never get beat. And for the first time this week, he started talking about guys like you, simultaneous double champions, potentially wants to move up and challenge for a second belt, must defend this one first. Let's see how it goes. Our tale of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting a challenger, Manel Starboy And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Muhammad, the Punisher, Mokayev! Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Effective use of the jab there by Cock. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Cobb. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Mokayev. Push him off! Push him off! Just over three minutes to go round one. That was a slick transition. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Muhammad Mokayev. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. 
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Push him off. Okayev's right back to the full mount. Under two minutes to go. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Go. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Nice uppercut. Oh, nice. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. That's a good kick by him right there. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still have a takedown attempt at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Great job that round. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Strong jab there. Could be the beginning of the end here. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Not resting in the clinch. Being very active and landing a beautiful punch there from the clinch position. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Beautiful level change. Leads to the table. Nicely done. Close guard. Okaya's back in half goal. Got to be careful, Armbar. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Trying to finish the Armbar here. All he's got to do now is take his time and the finish will present itself. A big part of submission defense is just being able to relax in the face of adversity. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. It's these guys are really getting out. after it. Okayev's right back to the full mount here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Mokayev's able to transition back to side control now. Look at him. He's setting up a choke now. Look at that. He's setting it up. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Cop. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Mokayev's back in full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. To rain down, the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 
Great job landing from the top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Now Cop's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Saved by the bell. There is the final horn. He was getting ground, was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Both guys appear to land there. Nice shot there by the champ. Good jab. The fighters separate. Really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've got to move. You got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Mokaya gets plastered by that uppercut. Looking for the trip here on the clinch, but great balance by him to avoid it. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Lands with the ground and pound here. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coley's somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Mokaya, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Mokaya. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. You've got to be careful. His striking has really started to pay off. I want you to cut those angles and get out of his range. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Oh, that one landed, yep. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. All right. Significant 
significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. True, nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do that he got his... Okaya's going for a choke here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That on time. Oh, he's out. He's got to be careful here. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Now, Cops looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Manel Cup. Well, you've got to admire the early... His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. seconds to go. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Twenty down, five to go. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left. UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible nice back and job. forth. Action. Sign the check, boss. These two <laughs> young men deserve fifty thousand. Hell, let's give them each a hundred thousand for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment. And I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. <laughs> They laid it all on the line. They dropped the quarter in the middle of the octagon, and they said, let's go. What a round. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. There's that patented single. Kaya's in half guard now. We got a scramble here. Now he's going full mount. This is a terrible position. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is left in. Armbar. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought.
on to the outside of his shoe in that defense. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Under two minutes. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Manel. So how about this?